Okay, guys, so I'm going to do a little tool review here. This is going to be on the FLIR 1 Pro, okay? I bought the FLIR 1 Pro for my Android phone to specifically use it for one function. Now, I deal with commercial refrigeration. Um, I know there's other uses for this. I will say that the FLIR 1 Pro was very cool. Um, a couple things I didn't like about it was the battery life. Uh, battery life is not very long, okay, while you're using it. I think you get like 20 minutes of use or something like that on a full charge, okay? So it, it does not last very long. Um, I was, and I didn't get footage of this, but uh, it was interesting using the FLIR 1 Pro to look at like a condenser coil when the system was operating, a traditional tube and fin condenser, and then look at a microchannel condenser. That was very interesting to see, and it did show temperature differences in the condenser. It's interesting to use it to look at uh, temperature losses or gains through walls to see uh, poor insulation and that kind of stuff. The FLIR 1 Pro does work for that. But my review is on one specific function. I wanted to know if on a, a walk-in cooler, let's say, that had a, a headmaster or a head pressure control valve, if I could see the liquid level in my liquid line receiver when the system was pumped down. Okay, this was there to try to help me to verify if the unit had the proper winter charge. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the video and show you guys and then we'll talk about it at the end. So we've got the FLIR 1 Pro here. That's what I got right here. Um, the little USB chingus goes in and out, but it's still not enough. So in order to use it with my case, I got to use one of these little extenders. So I'll get that on there. The, the FLIR 1 Pro also comes with a USB-C charger and a case, a little handy case that holds it. So we'll get some footage. So this is a test of the FLIR 1 Pro. I have a receiver that is pumped down at the King Valve. And I'm looking to see if I can tell where the liquid level is in the receiver. And so far, nothing. But what I'm going to try doing is rinsing the receiver with some water. Cooling it down to see if we can see the different liquid levels. So let's cool it down. Trying to cool it down at least. Okay. Let's see if that does anything. Not really. again see it's not really giving me a good liquid indication I'm not seeing it maybe I can try changing some of the settings my floor one no not really that's my uh, my system right there I know that the liquid levels at the three quarter mark you definitely see heat temperature signatures like you know, like down here where it's purple, my finger is pointing at it right now, that's where the paint is missing off the receiver. It's not going to be a clear indication as to where the liquid level is. So far, not good. Try to change the color patterns to gray. Anything? No. Try to change the color patterns. I mean, you can see something, but you can't tell where the liquid level is. What I 
do. It doesn't really work. So I think that's an epic fail for the Fleur 1 Pro as far as checking liquid level on the receiver. All right, so you guys kind of saw the, the failure that I found with the Fleur 1 Pro. Um, I think it's a cool product, uh, you know, but it just didn't do what I wanted it to do. But if you were going to use it, you know, to look for uh, heat losses or heat gains, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, I paid $399 for the Fleur 1 Pro, and that was the Fleur 1 Pro for Android with the USB-C connector on it, okay? Uh, got it from Amazon. It was a Prime thing. Um, so, you know, that it, it just wasn't really something that was justifiable for me to keep, okay? It, it's a novelty for me. You know, I mean, it was fun, but that was pretty much it, okay? I mean, I... Um, I even like, for instance, went outside just out of curiosity cause I was having a problem with, a, a, a raccoon in my backyard. And I was just kind of curious if I could see, you know, in pitch black, if I could see the heat signatures of the raccoon and negative, uh, you couldn't, um, you couldn't see anything. You just see darkness. Um, and I also read too, there's something about the thermal sensor inside the flare one pro. It's not good in pitch black. So, um, I definitely think that for the situation that I want to use it for, if I was to buy one of those really, really, you know, five, six thousand dollar thermal imaging cameras, it might do what I want it to do. But I was just looking for something that was affordable that I could potentially put in all my trucks and save ourselves the hassle of having to heat up a receiver. So but, you know, unfortunately, it didn't work out that way. So. All right, guys, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this tool review and I will see you guys on the next one.